So there's a really easy method to identify vectors, and that's called component form. So our vector A, which we can see in the graph here, this is your x-axis and your y-axis, but your vector A moves over 1, 2 on the x-axis, so 2 i hat, and then up 1 on the y-axis, so 1 j hat. And this is a really convenient way to represent a vector, uh, especially when you want to do stuff like add it to another vector. So say you had another vector, vector b, which was negative 4i hat, t4, and negative 3j hat, so 1, 2, 3. So vector b goes down like this and we put the arrow at top to denote vector so it has a direction. Well, this is really easy to do now because it's just simple addition and subtraction. So say you wanted to add vector A plus vector B, then vector A plus vector B would be equal to 2 i hat plus negative 4 i hat plus 1 j hat plus negative one, or negative three j hat. So two plus negative four, so two minus four, and one plus negative three, so one minus three in the j hat direction. That comes out to negative two i hat, negative two j hat. And we'll call this new vector, now we can call it vector c. So we've just added these two vectors, and you can actually do this by putting the tip of the arrow or the base of the arrow when you're adding, the base of the arrow to the tip of the, the other arrow. So this would move over two units. So we could have just done this if we had a convenient graph. But keep in mind, this gets a lot easier when you start working in three dimensions. And so our new vector should be, vector C should be this. So over two, uh, negative two i hat and negative two j hat. And that's exactly what we got. So there's two ways you can do this. Now, I want to talk about how you calculate magnitude for vectors, because that's a very important thing to do. So if you're working in one dimension, say this goes over two units, the x, and remember the x direction, we denote the unit vector i hat. Then, say you had a velocity, the magnitude, well first uh, how we, we'd write this as your velocity in one direction equals 2 i hat. And then your, say we now had it in two directions, so this goes up one, this goes over two again. So working in two directions now we would represent this velocity as 2 i hat plus 1 j hat. And then working in three directions now, in 3D, this is now your z axis. And z you represent with the k hat, x with the i hat, y with the j hat, So it goes over 2 in the x direction, we'll say it goes up 1 in the y hat direction, and then it goes out 2 in the k hat direction. So it's going to be hard to represent, but 1 over 2, up 1, towards you 2. So the vector should look something like this. And we would represent that vector, and oh, this is two directions here, we would represent this vector, vector three directions, as 2 i hat plus 1 j hat plus 2 k hat. So say you wanted to add two vectors now in three dimensions, it gets a lot easier working in component form like this. So say you had another vector, we'll label vector 4, just arbitrary naming, which is negative 1 i hat plus 2 j hat, negative 7 
k hat. And we'll actually do the opposite. So here we added them, now we're going to subtract them. So subtract. So these signs are going to flip because we're subtracting it. So vector 3 minus vector 4 is going to be 2 minus a minus, so that's going to be positive. So 2 plus 1, all in the i hat direction, plus 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2 in the j hat direction, plus 2 negative of a negative, so 2 plus 7. 2 plus 7 all in the k hat direction. So this is going to be equal to 3 i hat minus 1 j hat plus 9 k hat. Okay, so that's how you would figure out the magnitude, or, or sorry, this is now how you would figure out the magnitude. Uh, this is how you'd re represent as subtract vectors. So when we want to say we want to figure out the magnitude, uh, we'll start with two dimensions, or we'll start with one. So the, the magnitude of one direction is just that distance. So it's going to be 2 i hat. Uh, but the magnitude in two directions is just going to be Pythagoras' theorem. So we're trying to figure out this distance here. And you'll remember from Pythagoras' theorem that that's going to be 2 squared, because we move over 2 in the x-axis, plus 1 squared, so we move up 1 in the y-axis. So it's going to be the square root of 5. And magnitude is what we speak of uh, with vectors, is this displacement here. So this distance is square root of 5. And to figure out the magnitude of a three-dimensional vector, this is where it starts to pay dividends that you're working in component form. It's going to be a Pythagoras theorem again. So 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared which is the square root of 9, which is actually conveniently 3. So, there's one last thing which uh, is very important you're going to need to know, which is how you figure out a unit vector parallel to the direction of a vector. So, say in this case we wanted to figure out the unit vector parallel to this, then your unit vector for uh, velocity 2, and unit vector is actually denoted by little hat. It's going to be equal to your vector divided by the magnitude of your vector. So your vector is 2 i hat plus 1 j hat, and your magnitude is, oh, sorry, I guess you can't see that there. So, just move this down a little bit. Okay, so 2 i hat plus 1 j hat uh, divided by the magnitude, which is square root of 5. So, the unit vector for this is going to be 2 over the square root of 5 in the i hat direction plus 1 over the square root of 5 in the j hat direction. And so what does that mean? It means that if you were to look at going over with the distance of 1 in the x direction, that's called the unit vector i hat. And if you multiply that by 2, then you would get over this distance, which is what we do in this case. And if you were to move the direction or a distance, a displacement of 1 in the k hat direction, then you would go up this distance. But if you were to move over now 
2 over root 5 in this direction and 1 over root 5 in the y-axis, you would have a univector with a distance of 1 now parallel to this vector here, so your vector in two dimensions. And it's just as easy to calculate a univector in this case, so we're looking for parallel to our vector 3 with a length of 1. It's going to be univector of 3 is equal to vector 3 divided by the magnitude of vector 3, which is, well, vector 3 is 2i hat plus 1j hat plus 2k hat, all divided by, well, we figured out the magnitude is 3. So your unit vector in three dimensions for this factor is going to be 2 thirds i hat plus 1 third j hat plus 2 thirds k hat. And so this now has a length of 1 parallel to vector 3. And that's what we'd call this unit vector. Okay. All these are fair questions on tested exams, so make sure you understand how to calculate uh, magnitude and univectors parallel to your vectors. Okay, thank you. Have an excellent day.